Let's move on to additive integers. Additive inverse. We know that the integers could be positive or negative. Positive integers say 5, 8, 12. Negative say 6, 9 and 13. Minus, minus, minus. Now additive inverse of a number is another number which when added to the number itself gives the sum as zero. So let's say we have a number five. So additive inverse of a number, say number is five, is another number which when added to the number itself. So five plus this number gives the sum as zero. So the sum of these two numbers is zero. Right? Now I have to find out what is x here. So to do this, what I will do is I will subtract 5 from both the sides. So 5 plus x minus 5 is equal to 0 minus 5. Here we get minus 5. This 5 knocks off with this. So x is equal to minus 5. So we say that additive inverse of 5 is minus 5. Similarly, for 8, the additive inverse will be what? 8. If we add minus 8 to 8, we will get 0. If we, for 12, if we add minus 12 to 12, it will give 0. So this number and this number is the additive inverse of these numbers. Now how about 6, minus 6? So again, what do I do? Minus 6 plus x is equal to 0. To make this side 0, what do I do? I add 6 here is equal to 6. So I add 6 to both the sides. So this 6 and this 6 will go off. So x is equal to 6. So the additive inverse of minus 6 is equal to 6. So basically, if you see in all these cases, the additive inverse of a number is normally the same number. So for x, it will be safe to assume that additive inverse of x is the same number, but with the opposite sign. So if this x is plus, it will be minus x. If this x is minus, then the additive inverse will be x. So this was the concept of additive inverse, which means that a number which, when added to another number, gives the sum as 0.